This presentation covers the life of American poet Sylvia Plath, who was born in 1932 and died in 1963. Sylvia Plath was born in Boston, Massachusetts, the daughter of a German father and a partly Jewish-Austrian mother, who was one of the German immigrants' students before they married. Her father was an authoritarian, strict man who died of diabetes, which he had incorrectly misdiagnosed as lung cancer. The diabetes made his toe swell up and became infected, which Plath later references in her poetry. His death was traumatic for Sylvia, and she later writes about her father in a very unflattering, angry, confessional poem called Daddy. After her father's death, she and her mother had to move away from the coast for financial reasons, and her mother began teaching advanced secretarial studies at Boston University. Plath was a very brilliant and sometimes erratic behaving child who began writing poetry at a very young age. Sylvia Plath won a scholarship to Smith College and then won a prestigious fiction contest in which she was given an editorial position for the summer writing for Memoiselle magazine in New York City. However, Plath suffered from bipolar disorder and ended up unsuccessfully trying to kill herself with sleeping pills at the end of the internship. She was hospitalized and given intensive psychological treatment and electroshock therapy, and eventually ended up finishing her B.A. at Smith. She wrote of her experience the summer of her 19th year in her, and her attempted suicide in the autobiographical novel The Bell Jar, which she published under the pseudonym Victoria Lucas to protect the identity of some of the people in her life. Plath was awarded a fellowship to Cambridge University in England, where she earned her M.A. and met her husband, the famous English poet Ted Hughes. The young couple had two children and lived in England and briefly back in the United States. Ted Hughes was an unfaithful husband and eventually left Plath in 1962 for another woman before Plath killed herself by inhaling gas from the kitchen stove with both of her children home but not before a frantic period of writing in which she produced the poems that would make up her book of poetry called Ariel. She wrote a huge number of poems at an intensive speed, and they reflect her frightening vision of violence and horror that she probably experienced in a manic state of depression after her husband left her, and she was more than likely suffering from bipolar disorder. Ariel was published posthumously in 1965, as were her books of poetry Uncollected Poems, published in 1965 also, Crossing the Water, published in 1971, and Winter Trees, published in 1972. Sylvia Plath is best known as a confessional poet. Confessional poetry is a style of poetry that became popular in the mid-20th century that dealt with personal subject matter that previously had not been openly discussed in American poetry, such as private experiences with and feelings about death, trauma, and depression, and it is told in the first person. Her poetry reflects the painful intensity and desperation she felt as she suffered from severe depression, intense anger, and a fear of death as well as suicidal thoughts. Her descriptions are emotional, intense, vivid, violent, disturbing, and often shocking. Although deeply personal, her poems often transcend herself, making feministic criticism of the state of women in general in the paternalistic American society of the 1940s through the 1960s in which she lived. The information for this presentation came from the Anthology of American Literature and the website on Sylvia Plath from the Poetry Foundation. All images came from Google Images.